Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video I wanted to briefly show you what you can actually do in your sandbox and specifically show you a very unusual effect I discovered recently where I was exploring black holes. I think I may have actually created dark matter? Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So black holes in Universe Sandbox Square um, are actually really, really awesome in terms of being able to shred stars like you see right here, or basically create various effects. The thing is, I was actually making a video about the largest and the most massive black hole ever discovered, known as uh, Ton618. And what I did was, well, I took Sagittarius a star and I turned it into... Uh, the supermassive black hole at a distance of about 10 billion light years. Um, that particular black hole is about 66 billion masses of a sun. So it kind of looks like this. Here it is. It basically just swallowed everything. Uh, this is a tremendously large object. It's about 1300 astronomical units uh, in radius. And I accidentally exploded it. And this is when things started getting really weird, and I'm going to show you what I mean by this. First of all, when you explode a black hole in your sandbox, it kind of, well, technically it's impossible in real life, but in, in this game it kind of just kind of separates into um, pieces. And sometimes it actually does a few more things. But um, theoretically speaking, we think that it's possible for a black hole to actually fall apart. So maybe, just maybe, this, this is not far off from the truth. So I was able to essentially break this black hole into smaller pieces. And then because they're kind of all just remains of a black hole, they don't really have any actual structure or any shape here. They're just sort of like almost like dust. And so I decided to select just some of them. And we're going to do this maybe just with a few at first. And then turn them into actual bodies. So you can actually turn them in, into a, a normal body. Now, can you take a guess what's going to happen next? And this is where things got really, really strange for me. Look at that. If you know anything about Universe Sandbox, this is actually what dark matter looks like. As a matter of fact, it seems that I have just created dark matter by exploding the black hole and changing the remaining fragments into what seems to be, um, I guess, large planetary objects? Or actually, no. They're, they're back to being supermassive black holes. They, I, I think that, yeah, a lot of them actually went supernova right away. So there's going to be a bunch of supernova-like effects coming out soon. Now, this was actually very interesting. And look at how beautiful this actually is. It's interesting in the sense that um, there has always been a speculation that somehow maybe black holes are related to dark uh, matter. In, a, in other words, maybe inside of a black hole, or at least around the black hole, there's actually a lot of dark matter... Um, sort of orbiting around or just being stuck to it because uh, the only interaction that matter and dark matter has is basically gravitational interaction. Now we still don't really know what it is so and as a matter of fact there's been a lot of studies showing it's probably not a particle or not something that we can actually detect because we haven't been able to detect absolutely anything. Some people even speculate that maybe just maybe dark matter is really nothing but uh, misunderstanding of the gravity. But as of now, what we do know for sure is that something is definitely causing galaxies to stick together, and we, we call that something dark matter. In this game, it's always been sort of red. As a matter of fact, let's, let's just do this again. So we're going to go to... Um, well, actually, no. We're going to select a galaxy right here, and just add a random galaxy. And notice how it has those red balls everywhere. So each of these red balls is essentially dark matter. Now, they don't really have any shape other than having mass. If you were to look back at the simulation I created a few minutes ago, um, they looked exactly the same. And they also had mass. And they also had uh, no actual physical interaction with anything else. So why is it that when I actually take a black hole, explode it, and then convert some of the uh, remaining objects into what seems to be... Uh, actual bodies, it seems to produce quite a lot of dark matter around it. Now, this is a pretty interesting effect. 
I actually would like to maybe one day find out what's going on here, if it's a bug or if it's actually some sort of a hidden feature that I discovered. Um, but it, it does also raise a lot of questions about the relationship between black holes, specifically supermassive black holes, and dark matter that they might possess inside. So maybe just maybe there's actually quite a lot of unusual uh, features hidden inside the black holes. And one of those features is also maybe the so-called mysterious dark matter of which we know nothing. Now, before I finish this video, I actually wanted to do something a little bit more extreme. I wanted to actually explode the black hole yet again. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to explode the biggest black hole in the universe. The one that we've discovered um, quite a long time ago, but we haven't really confirmed it for a while. So only December, or I think November of 2017, was when the actual mass of the black hole was confirmed. And this black hole is known as Ton 618. And so we're going to take the supermassive black hole Ton 618, the most massive black hole we've discovered so far. We're going to explode it. And now previously I actually tried this, uh, and I totally recommend that you try this as well if you have Universal Bucks. I tried to select all of the objects and I converted them all. And that really kind of put a huge, 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 huge uh, pressure on my computer. As a matter of fact, I crashed several times. Uh, I tried it again and again, but then I realized that it's really, there's sort of a limit to how many uh, my computer can handle before it sort of starts struggling. I think this many I can do. I'm going to convert all of them. And what we'll see in a few seconds, especially if I remove labels, is that we're now are going to get a bunch of uh, black holes and um, supernova and also what seems to be dark matter. So basically all of the best things in the universe uh, sandbox game. Uh, now, unfortunately, obviously there's no explanation for why this is happening, but it does look absolutely gorgeous and create some of the coolest screenshots you can get um, in the game. So there we go. Not sure why, but it's fun to actually create these just because of the effects that the game generates. So do try it if you have Universal Max. Basically just explode the black hole and convert the fragments into the bodies and you'll get something that looks the same as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. And if you have any explanation for what's happening, do post it in the comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye bye.